Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Weich Coleman. We're going to go over a few things that I think are not talked about very much in residency. Let's start with patient positioning. I have a vertical crosshair pointed straight down from the ceiling. This is a super useful tool to get the patient in a consistent position. Now let's talk about the position of the head and the brow relative to the cheek. So we can see that the brow is elevated far above the cheek. We want them to be approximately equal so that we're not blocked by the brow coming in superior. So I'm going to lower his head until we get the brow approximately equal to the cheek. It's not possible in everyone, especially people who have prominent brows. So this is as close as we can get with him to having a level line between the cheek and the brow. But our goal is to get that close to level so that the brow is not blocking you. So we've got the head in a pretty good position now, but I can't get my foot under the bed. So we're going to raise the bed up and I've positioned my chair at the correct height. My pedals are far enough away from me, spaced apart. Let's call it 45 degrees. I'm going to go up enough to where I have plenty of clearance. Problem is, as it gets too high, the scope gets too high. So what I want to do is get the bed as low as I can without restricting the movement of my left leg. Now this is a time where it's important to not have this microscope pedal too close because as you get it close, your knee gets higher. So we want a slight down angle of our leg. So now I'm going to bring the bed down to where it just touches the top of my leg. So it's not restricting my movement. It's just barely touching. I've got him as low as I can get the patient without being restrictive on my left leg. We want to make one more point on the rotation of the bed. Here you can see that the feet are rotated too far in towards me. This is bringing the shoulder in contact with me. It's getting in my way. What I'll do now is I'll rotate the feet away and that frees up some space for me. Now that's not interfering with my arm. I'm approaching from a straight temporal position. If you get a bigger patient, we want to rotate the feet slightly further in to get it out of the way. So if you feel crowded, you want to rotate the feet away from you. So you want to basically be at a temporal approach, but if you feel crowded, you can go a little bit superior to clear their torso out of your way and free up your left arm.